Hey guys, Stinger 30 here again. Um, I thought I had some issues here a while ago, but I've just managed to solve it while I was um, trying to get this bit of a video prepared. But anyhow, I, today I was lucky enough and managed to pick myself up a, um, a Karcher vacuum cleaner. This is most of it, the rest of it's sitting on the floor, but um, you can sort of see it sitting here. It's a, um, actually, actually in a, um, a workshop industrial type vacuum cleaner. This here is the, um, the air cleaner out of it. Um, I gave him a bit of a clean day, it's a bit dirty around the top and there's, there's a bit of a clean. Um, clean off all the junk off there. I managed to find some instructions for it on the net and the instructions said that I could uh, give the thing a bit of a wash out, which I've been and done. I actually blew it from the inside out with the air compressor first and blowed all the crap and um, giving him a bit of a wash. He's still fairly wet and um, uh, once he dries out we'll be able to put him back together again. Um, I chased up a new one of these fellas today just to see what sort of price I'm looking at for one of these. One shop in particular, one of the 35 bucks. That's probably 35 bucks more than what I wanted to spend. Um, but um, I don't need it just yet in here. Um, we'll see how we go. Now one, one issue that I did have, I thought I was going to have, and I've managed to solve, is my, is my hose. Um, having a big hose to go on the side here um, for the vacuum cleaner, for the suction pump. Now one problem that I did have was, for some time, all I've been able to find is this spade bit. Now the problem is with this spade bit, if we hold it up here and have a bit of a look, see if I can balance this thing, and you can actually see it actually fits inside, sort of, yeah, a bit too small. Now the problem I usually find is when you've got a, a big rod type this, like this and trying to put in a small hole, um, usually what I suggest is maybe to man up and lube up, but unfortunately I don't think any lube in this case is going to help bugger. So, I've been hunting and I've actually found a circular hole saw, well, some of a circular hole saw. Um, I need to find the rest of it. No doubt it will turn up. But once I have that done, we'll have this thing all sorted. It actually fits up over the top of the um, rod thing. You can sort of see it there, it fits in there. It's got a little bit of slop, so that'll work fine, I reckon. Um, I might even get keen and go hunting and find those bits and pieces, and we'll get that hole drilled in the side. Wishka, like that. And I um, might even fire this thing up and make sure that thing's going to have a bit of suck. Now the other, the other thing I haven't done yet is I've got to run some aluminium tape around the edges here. Um, she's a bit rough as guts. But yeah, she'll be right. Um, run some aluminium tape around the side there and um, yeah, get that cleaned up so it um, stop me losing all my suction out of the side of it. I'm going to get all the suction down over here. So we'll get that bit there sorted out and we'll be cooking with gas. But um, as I said, remember um, if you have some troubles trying to put your uh, big rod into a small hole, lube up. So, yeah, remember that. Cheers. 